Hello and welcome to Yarn Tales by the Sea. I'm Kelly Ann and this podcast comes to you from the south east coast of the United Kingdom. This is predominantly a knitting and crochet podcast. So first of all I'd like to welcome back uh, all my um, returning viewers and uh, I'd also like to welcome any new subscribers I've had which I believe is quite a few lately. So uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> it means so much to me. Ah, so, yeah, I'm late again with my podcast and guess what? It was the internet again. No internet. Well, we had internet, but <laughs> it just constantly, constantly bombed out. Didn't it just? <laughs> well, we were told last year when they come out and fixed it, they sorted out the problem once and for all. So, just... To uh, make a long story short, uh, basically we're as, about as far away from the local uh, exchange as you could possibly be and the um, junction box is quite away, away from us and, it's, and since that junction box was put in they've built lots of more new houses up this area, um, not sort of particularly right close to me but you know where they're going to, this is it. Basically, the houses are going to use the same junction box. Anyway, so my internet kept dropping out, dropping out, dropping out. And uh, we don't get as um, faster speeds as everybody else. We, you know, which sort of, it irks me for the fact that I have to pay the same amount as everybody else to get probably less than half the speed of everybody else. But hey-ho. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so it, they eventually fixed it. Um, they had to do the box that come into my house again because apparently when they did it last year they fitted me with an obsolete box <laughs> and um, so basically from the junction box it's copper wire down, all the way down and the fuses hadn't been changed for nearly eight years and they hadn't greased the wires because apparently they have to grease the wires to stop the water getting in so yeah mm -hmm. but uh, anyway we're here now, so that's the main thing, isn't it? <laughs> or is it? I think so. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was a bit of a bit of a long gap, wasn't it? Um, right, so I'm involved in a make along with the delectable Leslie from Not Quite Enough Yarn. Um, basically, we are we both have our own groups on Ravelry, and uh, it's the make along is any accessory. Uh, which means things like um, hats, socks, mittens, gloves, cows, anything that's not an actual garment but is classed as an accessory for the person, not, not an accessory for the house. Um, I have been asked in the past if dogs' clothes can be you know dogs coats can be counted and i've, I've said yes <laughs> but anyway <laughs> um yeah so we draw two prizes each quarter uh, i draw two leslie draws two so it's all individual so you can dip in both of ours um so there is a uh physical prize for um whichever uh make is uh drawn in the you know I usually use oh god look, I'm losing it already <laughs> uh, right yeah so there's a pattern pro no there's a physical prize for um the actual makes in the make make thread and then uh the uh, ravelry pattern prize up to the value of 10 us dollars in the chatter thread so that's drawn um quarterly and then at the end of the year it's the normal in december is the normal quarterly draw and then one big uh one you know another prize for the whole lot if you see what i mean so yeah if that makes sense <laughs> uh the only stipulation is you must be a subscriber of the um either mine or leslie's channels and our obviously our uh, groups but um we we both understand that not everyone can use ravelry so it would to try and to make it as inclusive as possible you can just always send me a photo of your um accessory and uh, i can upload it onto the group so that that's that way around it um ravelry um 
surprised I'm not quite sure about that but I haven't come across it yet um, so if anyone I don't know what well, I just I think so, something out you know don't worry <laughs> does that make sense <laughs> yes <laughs> so if you wonder why Colin is um, in the video this this time um, is I will get to that in, in a minute and Colin is my partner and he also does all my editing on my videos so yeah yeah it's a lot of editing sometimes no it's not really <laughs> <laughs> no because he leaves all my blimmin gaffs in doesn't yeah. he <laughs> right so I should start off with my finished objects um because I I want to get this off because I'm too hot <laughs> so yes I have finished my cardigan um I'll have to put the picture on the screen, or Colin will, because uh, I gave the pattern to my, my mumsy. Uh, well, Colin's mumsy, but uh, yeah, so I haven't got that anymore. So this was in um, Hayfield Spirit. I can't remember the colourway, but it's very pretty. I didn't do any, um, uh, what you call it, yarn management, which or yeah or control or whatever you want to call it but i kind of wish i did because it's like all over the place the colors but i don't mind i don't think you're really going to be able to see very well if i stand up but it's just a, it fits now and i've seamed it really well i think this is one of the best sewing up jobs i've done i mean you can hardly tell can you apart the only reason you can tell is because the colors are different but yeah so I'm really pleased with that. Um, it's not my usual thing. I brought this came in. Um, was it a knit in a box? I think it was December's. And um, yeah. Anyway, I've cancelled it anyway. <laughs> so because I didn't like the following two boxes. But yeah. So really pleased with that. It's just a DK. Oh, right, so that's that. Right, so anyone wondering why I'm wearing a hat is because I, I have alopecia areata and it, it's really bad at the moment. I thought I might get away with not being able to wear one because the worst of it's sort of around this area, but I've now got a bit that's sort of developed um, up, just up, up under there. And uh, if I'd have dyed my hair this week like I was going to, I could have got away with it because I've got some like colourant thing that you uh, put in your hair that helps colour the um, scalp to match your hair. So <laughs> I shall have to get that done for next time, won't I? So yeah, so that's that. Um, right, socks. <laughs> this is, uh, do you know, I don't know what, I'd, I'll have to get Colin to put details on the screen. Uh, Mindfield. Minecraft. Minecraft, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft socks. It's a free pattern on um, Ravelry. I just used Drops uh, Fable. Um, I did these a bit shorter than I normally do because I normally do quite a lot on the length, on the leg length. Um, they're supposed to go down the foot as well, the pattern. But I thought, well, it's going to be really bulky in the boots or pair of shoes. And I was getting fed up with doing them anyway, because <laughs> it's basically a lot of sort of offset, um, we call it ribbing, really. Um, and it's quite a yarn eater as well, because I, I reckon if I'd have carried on with this pattern on the foot, uh, I would have run out of yarn. So or had to play yarn chicken. So... But yeah, it's just a standard um, gusset and heel, Kitchener toes. I can't remember what the colourway is on the on that bow, but yeah, I kind of like and kind of don't. I've been like that quite quite a bit lately. I think this is the second pair of socks in a row I've done and not been sort of um, overly enamoured with them. So 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 next something a little bit different. Um, I made a little bear. <laughs> he was uh, he was a free. I was it. I don't. I think it, I, one of the crochet magazines. I don't get them anymore now because I really don't like most of the stuff that's in them these days. And 
trouble is, if I don't know if you notice, he's got the arms a little bit different because I ran out of brown yarn, so there wasn't enough there. And I'm always very frugal with yarn. I when I've used them in kits before, and uh, because I they do tend not to put enough in most of the time. Not quite enough. Oh, not, yeah, not quite not enough. enough. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Leslie, <laughs> this bear represents your channel. <laughs> the not quite enough yarn bear. <laughs> I sound like a real dick saying that. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so but I'm quite pleased with it. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. I'm very pleased with it. I do love amigurumi. And I haven't done any for such a long time. Because at one one point, I think it was like, not last year, year before, it was just getting ridiculous the amount I was doing. Because I'd, I'd put stuff up on, like, um, Instagram that I'd finished. And then I'd, I'd friends were saying, oh, can you make me one? Can you make me one? And it just kept spiralling out of control to the p point I didn't want to make anymore. Because um, a lot of it was they all, they all wanted flipping unicorns, wasn't it? Unicorn, mm. unicorns, unicorns. <laughs> Lost count the amount you made. Yeah, I did. So I gave up after a while. So... Right, on to the next one. And I made sure I saved the ball band this time. Um, I've made Colin a hat. Another the Ross hat by Smell Great Guy. Hey. <laughs> I, just, I just get confused with Ross a little sometimes because his other stuff's sort of similar to his name of his channel, but it isn't. So, But I always have to make uh, put extra stitches in because it doesn't go up to Colin's size. But I'm really happy and it feels absolutely lovely because it's done in, um, just put that down a minute. Is that, I think that's focusing. Uh, James C. Brett Driftwood and the shade is DW08. So it's like a, like a denim, -y, denim -y blues. I love it because it's like, what's it? It's, it's got cotton in it. And it's anti-pilling as well. Oh no, it hasn't got Colin uh, acrylic. Uh, <laughs> hasn't got cotton in it. It's actually a hundred percent anti-pilling acrylic. So why did I feel it had? Oh, it's drift drift wood. Sorry, not drifter. Oh, twit, and I. I think you said drift wood. Oh, I thought, well, I thought it was drifter because mm. I had the other hat you had. Oh, anyway. It feels absolutely lovely, but it does actually feel like it's really soft cotton. I wouldn't mind a jumper or something out done in, done in that. But yeah. So I won't stick it on your head. It's a muck your hair up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, my other finished is well, my daughter's expecting her fifth baby. Well, well my youngest daughter. Uh, I can't remember now. Is it end of June, beginning of July? I think. Like I think. It's not, yeah, I can't not remember. Far off now. So I always, I, my my days feel like I'm in um, Groundhog Day because every single day is for the last like fourteen plus months has like been the same. <laughs> anyway, so I made a one blanket. I made a, like a fancy blanket, and this second blanket I just did a uh, big. Granny is square, so let me see that. And for the edging, I just did a really nice um, shell, shell stitch. And what did I use? Oh, I think that was uh, the pink, the mosaic. I think can you? See? I think it's showing up. Uh, that was mariners. Because I thought I'd try some mariners and uh, I brought that with some other bits and bobs. I actually quite like it. It's really cheap as well. And the the, the white yarns mari mariners as well. And I'll tell you what, they're both so soft. And it ha hasn't even been washed yet. So it's going to come up beautiful. So yeah. So as you can tell, she's having... Well, I shouldn't say that, should I? I shouldn't say it, as you can tell. Just because it's pink. But yeah, well, I made it pink anyway. But you know what I mean. So that's that one. But what I do do when I do do um, granny squares is uh, when I come to the end of the row, instead of just carrying on, I always flip. So 
so in that way your square is absolutely perfectly square and it doesn't get that leaning slant so yeah so that's that and the other one is a partial finish so i'm doing the mile a minute calendar blanket um, from jada in stitches and uh, I haven't put this month's on. I am actually halfway through doing it. But uh, but yeah, so that strip there. I forget what she's... Oh yeah, she called it... I think it was like an Oreo biscuit or something. A cookie. <laughs> cookie stitch or something. So, so that's what it's looking like so far. But I'm not too bothered if it doesn't look pretty. Because it's just all scraps. But I, I quite like what it looks like. So, what do you think? What do you think? It's really nice. I mean, you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, you'd, you'd use it, would you? Um, maybe not. Well, about a twenty two. Because I got my one. You just need the elbow of me on my snozzle then. Did you? No, you did. Oh, twit. <laughs> I'll right. try harder next time. Then. <laughs> she keeps licking me <laughs> right so before I go on to my mate mate uh, <laughs> before I go on to my um, whips so, oh, you know, I'm just not with it am I <laughs> right yeah before going to my whips um, I received a beautiful parcel in the post all the way from Germany from one of my viewers called um, Vera. Now uh, for those of you that have been with me for a while you know that I'm trying to knit as many hats as I can for Colin this year. Um, I, I won't knit him <laughs> jumpers or anything because he just put a hole in them in two minutes flat so <laughs> you know you will. <laughs> no I wouldn't, Dog would. Yeah, no, you would. Oh, anyway, so, and obviously because he wear, I've made him quite a few pairs of socks, but he, he doesn't wear them to work, and I wouldn't let him wear them to work because they'd get holes in them in two minutes flat. So, um, he just asked for loads of hats. So, I try to, I'm trying to get as many done as I can. Anyway, Vera said she would like to send Colin a hat. Uh, I, th I think it was like a thank you, you know, for everything he does on the channel and everything. And, uh, well, Vera didn't just send him a hat. She sent... I'm just doing the elbow in the schnozzle then. That's all right. <laughs> right. So, I've got quite a few bits in here. So, first of all, Colin's hat. So... Uh, for those that are new to the channel, Colin and I, along with the delectable Leslie from Not Quite Enough Yarn, and she owes me loads of money now for keep I mean, plugging her channel. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, we drum for a, a local drum group called Section 5 Drummers. Uh, Colin and I are in fact leaders, and our colours are red and black. We are uh, street performers, as in we perform all sorts of events. And so Vera made them this lovely hat in the drumming colours so right, let's see if we get this on you yeah. oh, on this side you'll have to adjust that how you think that's about right is it? I think it's about it mm. it's so, about yeah. a mirror I can't really <clears throat> so and he's he's got a really big head so I have to put large right. ditches and Vera says she has to make large for her husband and she got that just right made that with it anyway. and mm -hmm. that's going to look great especially for drumming in the winter because that will actually fit under his top hat as well and keep his head really warm won't yes, it? She will. That's what did you say? Thank you Vera brilliant love it and that's the one reason why I'm on it because she actually wrote to you she'd like to see me on yeah see you with the hat see you with the hat on so, so that's why I'm here so, Can I go now? <laughs> you won't if I wait there. Then. <laughs> anyway, so 
like I said, not only did she send the hat, she mm. also sent me this yarn. So I can actually make myself a something for drumming. Uh, I think I'm actually going to make myself a cow with it. Um, yeah, I think a cow. Mm. Yeah, a cow. That'd be really good because I haven't got one. Well, I've got a scarf I yet. I knitted a triangle scarf, but sometimes that falls and gets in the way of the drumming. And I thought with a cow, that would be absolutely ideal. And it's by Spec. What's that? Is that Spec? Specklets or Spec? Specklets. Specklets. Oh, I can't read German, sorry. <laughs> um. But it's 75% wool, 25% polymed. So that's anyone out there that can read German. There's that. So, and then by the same company, must be the name of the colours, you know, because that's got a complete, it's the same label. That's not it. My colours, hen. Oh, that must be what's called. Sock. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Name. So I don't know. I don't know what that says. I'll write it in translate and translate it. But those colours are right up my street, and I know exactly what I'm going to make with that. I'm going to make myself a sock head hat because I've made Colin a few of those, and I haven't actually had one. Or made yourself one, and also uh, this is a Pegasus Mini, which is 75% uh, merino, 25% nylon. Uh, I don't know if that's the name of the yarn or whether that does monshaf. I think I speak German. Oh, no. But as you see, some beautiful little um, stitch markers. So, what do they call those little? Is it oh macaroons? Is that it's like macaroons? Yeah. But again, my colours. So it's absolutely made up with all of that, and I've been dying to use these, but I haven't because I wanted to keep them for the podcast. Lots and lots of teas, but just not any tea, my favourite types of tea, because I mainly just drink uh, Red Bush or Rui Bus. And Vera very kindly put like uh, chai, Rui Bus chai. Um, there's orange, Rui Bus orange. What else is there? Oh, yeah, uh, lemon. Which that one doesn't contain red bush with lemon, and then um, I think that's wild cherry, uh, red bush wild cherry. That's wild and kitsch and kitsch's cherry in it, and there's a cherry, so it's got to be wild cherry. So, yeah, I'm so looking You're forward to, to having those. <laughs> I love tea. I've got, uh, I'll have to I'll take some pictures at some point. But in my kitchen, I've got a, a big old fashioned oak dresser. It is oak, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because either oak or walnut, isn't it? One of those. Nice oak. It is oak. Yeah, so. and, um, and it's just covered in tea. All sorts of teas and teapots because I love um, teapots, especially the one cup jobs. I collect them. And I've also uh, got shelves in my kitchen that are full of uh, miniature teapots that, you know, they're like the little collectible ones and the little milk jugs that, you know, the ornamental type. So, yeah, I love tea. I absolutely adore tea. I mean, I do, I am caffeine free, but I might have the odd cup of normal tea now and again. But, uh, yeah. And then also sent me a beautiful card that will go on my notice board. So, and again, a letter that went with it. So, again, Vera, thank you so, so much. I yeah. mean, we're, you know, I'm just overwhelmed with what you sent. I mean, that, 
what can I say? <laughs> it's fantastic. And I know exactly, like I said, I know exactly what I'm going to use the two large skeins for. Not quite so sure on the mini, but I'm sure I'll find something. But thank you. Thank you again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so on to uh, my whips. I'll start with the one that looks a bit weird at the moment. <laughs> um, so I watch uh, Alex, who's uh, who is my Yarny Corner. Um, Alex, uh, fairly new to the podcast world. I forget how many episodes she's done now. But she, I think she, yeah, she podcasts normally every two weeks, I think. And, uh, yeah, she was dominantly a... a crochets but just recent months i think she's re really got into the knitting sides of things as well but every month she makes um a little a little um bear um you know she makes it up herself so she did a tutorial um which she released in four parts for, uh, you can also download the pattern for the bear on Ravelry, which is free. I mean, I know how to do amigurumi and everything, but I just thought, oh yeah, it'd be fun to do one of one of her bears because I um, really enjoy doing it. And I, I'll tell you, if you haven't done amigurumi before, her video would be one of the good videos to actually learn how to do it. As long as you know the basic stitches, which is um, single crochet U US, double crochet UK, you can do it. You can absolutely do it and she, she she takes you step by step so <laughs> he's got no arms at the moment <laughs> but i started him anyway and what i liked about this pattern is that is done in one go you haven't got to like do the legs all separate you go feet up so i mean for me it was easy how you connect the two legs to the body because i've done it before but uh, although Alex says that is the most tricky part, which I suppose for somebody that's not really done uh, this kind of amigurumi before, maybe it would be. But like I said, she her um, tutorials are really, really good. Really easy to follow. So I should have this finished by the end of the week because obviously I'll be podcasting at the end of the week because it's prize time again. So, so yeah. The only difference I've done, I've put... Um, blue eyes on mine so yeah oh. so that's going to be I forget how gold I forget what she, this bear's called now is it violet, violet? Something like that. anyway it's going to have a little hat with a flower on and all the rest of it so yeah so that's that so like I said I've been on a bit of a uh, last couple of days um, cast on castioniitis is it? Castioniitis. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Uh, okay. So, uh, I'm going to have to put that on the floor. You don't expect me to put that on the bottom. Right. Castioniitis. Right. <laughs> you know how to spell it. Right. So, I finally cast on my Mount Pleasant Tea by Pip, Pip and Pin. So, uh, it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. So, get out. One of my favourite bags. Love this bag. Love bees. It's got bees on it. I still don't take the labels off. <laughs> uh, I've had these bumps now. Oh, Ro Clara Rose Crafts. And she does loads of matching st stuff with a lot of the stuff she does. Bag she does. Oh, anyway. So, I've cast on. Right. So, the yarn I am using is. Uh, noodle soup and the colour is inky tincture and this is 75 superwash merino 25% nylon so I'll show you it on again all my colours I've really got into teals teals and greens at the moment I'm really into that I always used to wear black always nearly everything I used to wear was black mm -hmm. and got to the stage now I got old and I'm thinking gotta do you know gotta change up and I love purple as well that go quite nice on this I think so it's gone inside out so I only started this yesterday 
but uh, I think you can see okay. So I've just finished all the lace. So I'm, yeah. But I had to, um, you know, I started it yesterday, but I, I, uh, about a week or so ago, I twice I tried to start it, and twice I had to rip it out because I wasn't concentrating on the lace because <laughs> as much as I should have been, um, because I was too busy catching up on podcasts where I hadn't had um, decent internet and. Uh, I was watching Anne from Spa Knits and I noticed she put little bulb pins all the way around in because it, it's done over 12 uh, stitches on this and so that's what I did and I had to order some off of um, Amazon because I didn't have enough and do you think I could just get I only wanted like 50, 60 no I had to buy 600 of the what's it oh, I was going to say so, I was going to swear there uh, yeah 600 of them so I don't know what I'm going to do with 600 bulb pins but Oh, well, I, well, I suppose it's good because where they're so tiny and I'm always losing stuff like that down the couch and so... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my Mount Pleasant. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm not anticipating it's going to fit. So you say to me, well, why the hell would you bother flipping knitting it then if it's not going to fit? Well, it's because I put on a load of weight. And when I say a load of weight, I mean a load of weight. So I put on... What was it? About 38 pounds I've put on. <laughs> so, yeah, I, it's got to come off. So, I've got myself out of uh, pre diabetes. Pre diabetes. Uh, type 2 out to yeah. pre, and I'm just on the cusp of pre to normal. So, right. I've done. Re <laughs> you know why I only twit? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm really, really pleased about that. So, but I am um, in the process of starting to lose weight. So I've Weight Watchers don't work. Yeah, I know they work for a lot of people, but they're not designed to be maintained, and they're also designed to make monies. And everything they say is all right. We really isn't. Um, you know, like all their rubbishy stuff. And and they say, oh, you should eat a load low-fat yogurts but why would I want to eat low-fat yogurts when it contains more sugar than normal yogurts and not only that your your body um the reason you put a lot of weight on when you eat sugar is because it's not fat your body can easily get rid of fat but it struggles to get rid of sugar so um I'm gonna I'm not going jumping on it 100% but I'm gonna go down the keto route which may, means basically just eating meat veg fruit so i'm on a bit of nuts but well, i'm quite happy about that anyway i digress so yeah uh, i think it will fit but it might be a little bit tight across here but um yeah <laughs> i'll get into it i'll get into it i've got to lose weight because none of my clothes fit i'm sick i mean it's not my party dress but it's one of my 50, 50s dresses i mean i love 50s clothes but i've had to my boobs have got so big I've had to put a flipping brooch in there so I'm not all hanging out <laughs> right so the other thing I cast on I did cast on a new pair of socks because I kind of lost me socky mojo but I think I've got it back <laughs> so these it, this is done in uh, Tweet Knits Yarns, which is 80% merino, 20% nylon, uh, 400 metres to 100 grams. I really like that. And that's how it looks. Knitted up. It's kind of like spiralling, like a bit of pooling, spiralling. So, I really like that. I mean, a bit bright, but maybe, maybe it'd look quite nice as a summer tea as well. <laughs> summer tea. T-shirt. Oh. A knitted summer T-shirt. Okay. Tea. All right. <laughs> I should get you knitting, you know. No. Some of the other people's that other no. halves do. No. 
Oh, I forgot you've got two left hands, haven't you? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so that's that. I've tried that before, but it happened. <laughs> that's uh, my well, fluff. Uh, bags from, what do you call it? Amelia Joy on Etsy. I love this one because it's books. It's got books, books, books. I do read a lot. I do read a lot of books. And my final uh, cast on is living in my bag that I won from uh, Anne from Sparnet when she done a giveaway. Oh, actually, if I nearly forgot something, I did actually win a giveaway. Another, was it? I did put it out here, so I've got it all. Oh, there it is. I'm going to keep the together. Um, yeah, the lovely Alex from My Yarny Corner did a giveaway, and I was lucky enough to win the pattern prize, uh, which is the sugarcane farm hat from Pearl Passion, and that does go right up to adult. So you really like that, don't you? So I'm gonna. That's another hat. Yeah, so I'm gonna do one for Colin and one for myself. So I just need to get the yarn. Well, I've got some. Yeah, because it's done in Aaron, but you don't really like that colour, do you? It's that creamy one. No. No. And I need, and I want I'm not doing it on um DPNs. I love doing my hats on uh, circus, so I need to get a uh what do I need to get? Yeah, five mini five me five millimetre needle to do that. I suppose was about to say five million. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> so, again, okay, thank you very much, Alex, for that. I'm going to look forward to uh, doing it. And also means I get to um, buy some yarn. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I digress. So, this is my bag I won from the lovely um, Anne from Spa Knits, along with some other odds and ends. Well, I shouldn't say odds and ends. It was beautiful yarn as well. Um... She calls them her wonky bags. I don't know why, because they're not wonky to me. <laughs> anyway, talking about um, Alex from My Yarn Corner. Uh, she, she started a jelly roll blanket, which is from Kay from the Bakery Bears, a pattern she's recently released on Ravelry. Um, I haven't printed it out, so I'll, I'll get Colin to put a picture on the screen. So basically, you, you use your... your um, four ply scraps although you can actually do it with any weight as long as you stick the same weight and it's long strips and um you knit it together it's a bit like the northeasterly is it the northeasterly because i did have the pattern for that but i i just didn't get on with it i don't know why I, but anyway i thought i'd give this a go but mine won't look as pretty as some of the other people that are doing it because i'm doing it out of um generic uh, shop brought sock yarn or four ply yarn um, because I can't justify spending um, probably what we were going to the hundreds of pounds just to make a blanket and I have, haven't got that much well hardly anything in uh, leftovers in um, merino so I was a bit apprehensive before I brought the pattern and I thought oh I'll have a look and some another lady's just done it with uh, uh, shop brought normal you know generic and i thought it looked really nice so that's what i'm going for so don't expect to see a lot because I, I started this two o'clock this morning <laughs> i was watching telly so that's all i've done on it <clears throat> so just a little bit so that's in um that's a drops fable yarn so so basically you do one strip and then you're you knit the other pick up a stitch on the other side as you knit up on that but that's just some of the yarns and oh, no, that's just a fraction of the sock yarns that I've got left over I've got a whole big bag full so yeah so I'll so say thank you for Alex to uh, mentioning that blanket because I wouldn't have known about it otherwise although I do watch the bakery bears but not every podcast because Sometimes they're a bit long for me, and I, I, I haven't got attention deficit disorder, but, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. So I, I have facts and phases with, with podcasts. There's some podcasts I watch religiously, 
and there's others I dip in and out of so yeah I think I think most people are like that so yeah it's finding uh podcasters that you, you think you can gel with or you know I like podcasters that um you know that don't just sort of knit with the same sort of yarn all the time you know um I like podcast watching podcasts that use all sorts of yarn from acrylic to the high end you know all that sort of stuff and I, and I quite like the podcasts that do a little bit um different things in with it as well so yeah <laughs> so I've waffled on a bit I don't think many people are gonna watch the end of this do you <laughs> I don't. it's been a bit waffly um so I think I've said everything I need to say haven't I I think so. I think so, yeah. <laughs> um, I did quite a bit on my crochet blanket. Um, but it might be 24, but uh, I'll, I'll show that at the end of the week. So, yeah. So, we're getting it all out now. So, oh, so yeah. So, I think that's it. Right. Thank you to anyone that stuck it out this far. It's been a bit waffly. I think it always does go a bit more waffly when you're on screen, doesn't it? Not that you say a lot. I don't get a word in the intro. I don't think I think you just. Yeah, but you're like that anyway. You never say anything anyway. I know because I don't get a word in the intro, dear. Yeah, but even when I don't talk, you don't say nothing. Well, I've got nothing to say. See. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I think that's it. Um. So there will be another podcast at the weekend, next weekend, um, because obviously uh, it's the prize draw again. So, uh, yeah. So thank you so much if you stuck it out this far. And uh, I will see you next time. So take care and stay safe. Bye, Bye. for now. <laughs>